And what brought you in today? The emergency room at a children's hospital is filled day and night with hurting children and frightened parents. And I called immediately because I know that's not good. For the ER nurse, this is a pressure cooker of pain and fear, where swift decisions and expert treatment can mean the difference <coughs> between life and death. My name is Lindsay Grabensky. I'm 43 years old. I've been a nurse for 15 years. Uh, pretty much all of it has been pediatrics. Lindsay and her husband, Mike, have been married 15 years and have two sons. My eldest son is Parker. He's nine years old. When he's Mr. It's All Good. And my youngest is Colin, and he's eight. Your parents are your best connection as far as communication. Whether at work Hopefully that one works. or at home, Come on in. Lindsay's life is all about children. My husband and I made the commitment early on um, as a slightly older parent that um, we wanted to make sure we were there for our kids all the time. On school days, Lindsay is up at 6 a.m. I'm a bit of an old school, old school lunch maker. Peanut butter and jelly is it's great. Great for kids, easy for adults. I'm always hopeful that they don't mash up what's in their lunch before they even get to eating it because they tend to throw their lunch boxes. So what is now orange slices in a, orange wedges in a Ziploc baggie is gonna be orange juice, I have a feeling, before lunchtime. Did you do your teeth, please? Did you blast? Please go blast. You're gonna go hungry today. Can you get your shoes on next time? All right, all right. I think I was meant to be a mom of boys. I'm not like a pink tutu kind of doll household kind of person. So the trucks and the dinosaurs and the dirt and the, camp the camping and the hiking have suit me just fine. Can I close the door, Mom? Uh, yeah, go ahead and close it. For Lindsay, parenting and nursing are two sides of the same coin. Kiss, kiss. Have a good day. Mwah. I love you. Be good. Bye, Miss Sam. Have a good day with your sub. Take care. 8.15 a.m. and Lindsay's 12-hour shift at Rady Children's Hospital in San Diego is already hectic. I like to get up and go. I mean, I, I work fast. I walk fast. Okay. I talk fast. That's the way I've always been my whole life. If my mom could ever say, tell me anything, she'd say, would you slow down your talking? Yeah, 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 yeah. So the ball hit him in the head and then his head hit the wall. But and if I come into work with a Red Bull or something in my hand, everyone just groans because they go, oh, here she goes. More and more and more. So you still sort of have this game plan. Okay. Um. Children's. Children's. The baby's uh, equipment is on this side. Mia, a, a nine-month-old baby girl with rapid breathing, has been given a medicated mist. She's been having trouble breathing for a couple of days now. Mom, how many days was, was she on her ste oral steroid at home? Two weeks. Okay, thank you. And that's a little excessive for that type of situation, and we knew if she hadn't already gotten better after a short burst of five days, which is the standard five, seven days of steroids, that there was going to be, she was going to be a harder case to, to solve. The baby is clearly distressed, and Lindsay struggles to even check her pulse. Oh, beautiful, I'm so sorry. You know what, I'm going to let her just be at peace for a little bit with you guys, and I'm going to come back, and when she's quite a little quieter, and she's going to have, I can listen to her lung sounds a little bit better. The baby will have to calm down before Lindsay can begin any treatment. While waiting, the nurse turns her attention to a new arrival. This is a one-year female, the ambulance called in. This is coming from Scripps La Jolla radio room. A one-year-old female that slipped in the, on the wet surface in the garage and had a positive loss of consciousness uh, for one minute. Lindsay and the trauma team go to work. Sad for 100%, rest was 44. 134 over 57, no past medical, no current meds, no allergies. Child slips, hits their head has a moment of loss of consciousness. Most likely it's a, it's a concussion. It's a close head, what we call a close head injury or a CHI. We will worry about um, swelling in the brain, putting pressure on the vomiting center. A thorough examination shows no evidence of brain injury, but they will continue to keep an eye on the little girl. We watch her for a number of hours to make sure she continues again the trend, continues to get better. She proceeded to have no vomiting. She was age appropriate for mom. She recognized her caregiver. She walked and she talked. Right, are you okay? But they will continue right, to keep an breath. eye on the little girl. Work, okay. Next door, little Mia has calmed down enough for treatment to begin. And you can still be right next to her, but I am going to have her flat on the bed since we've had a hard time with the backs of the hands. Are you okay with that? That's good. I'll let you know. No surprises. I'll let you know everything I'm doing. Lindsay needs to get an IV medication line into the infant to improve her breathing. Finding a vein in the tiny arm is difficult. Oh, that's okay, my love. Baby, you're so okay. 
I'm so sorry, buddy. All right, got one there. Let me just feel what this one feels like. I like the juiciest one she's got. Okay, there we go. So this is just more of the saline. I just want to flush that line. Hold on, cowgirl. I just want to flush that line to make sure it still works. And she was still having an increased respiratory rate, which is tachypnea, as well as a, an oxygen requirement. So she really was not doing a very doing well as far as getting better with the standard approach we have for treating asthma. As the medication flows into the infant, her breathing calms. Once you've placed an IV and given mag sulfate and done continuous albuterol, it's pretty much a sure thing that child's gonna stay in the hospital for a couple of days so she can really get tuned up. Mia will be okay for now, but will get further treatments during her hospital stay. Okay, pick her up and give her some love. Hold that baby, she's earned it. Had she not fought me, had she been more passive, more floppy, uh, duskier in color, um, not been age appropriate, as we say, then it would have been the full court press. And so you guys, gonna, that sedation's coming up. Long hours and a constant stream of sick and injured children can sometimes cause an ER nurse to burn out. So there's been some days where I think, I don't think I want to do this anymore. It's time to change. And then I sat, and a couple months, about 18 months ago, I had that realization and I thought it's time for me to go. And then I spent a number of months looking and interviewing and talking and checking out websites and I thought, I don't want to do that. Where would I go? I'd have to go to, all the way to LA to do what I do. So I'm gonna stay where I am.